Alright, so at this point the level 100 has been in Grand Cross for a couple weeks now and although I have been super super far behind on all that kind of 100 grinding, we do have here the full goddess team. At level 100 I've been holding off on this just for a little bit because not only did I have to get all the characters done and some of the main characters of the account, but was also waiting for the new artifact set if I'd go ahead and actually equip it, it should be down the bottom here. Light energy, increase the goddess allies damage dealt to enemies by 8% in PvP. Unfortunately, it is only level 4 out of 5. I, as of recent, got the Guardian of Istal set and been leveling that up as well. I know it's been out for ages at this point, but once again, just a just a little bit unlucky when it comes to those things. But I am honestly very, very excited to try this team. I've had the Elizabeth and Margaret done for quite some time and just got done doing the Tamiel this afternoon. I believe he is my 11th level 100 unit. We can actually have a quick look at the box here. Yeah, we've... We've got most of the main roster down at this point and hopefully with the Wedding Brunhold coming out in the next update, I will have her level 100 as well. But there is only one thing about this team and yes, it is the backline unit. You can use pretty much whoever you want. It's a little unfortunate there is no Archangel support. I still feel like Elizabeth isn't at her maximum potential because once again, we don't have a backline support for the Archangel team and I feel like giving her an actual partner unit like a Myel or something along those lines would definitely help her out a whole ton. But Quickly jumping over to the Elizabeth, we do have her 4-6. Finished my full second rotation without getting a single coffee. Uh, having a look at the gear here, we're rocking the HP crit. And then jumping over to the cosmetic, she is completely maxed out. So yeah, once again, this is the team we're using today. And let's jump right into it. Here we go, let's see it and our first opponent. And yeah, this team is a extremely strong team. I still wouldn't say it's in the top teams of the game. At this point, the Demon Lord Rimmer is so insanely strong. And that buff removal cocks this team way 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 too hard let's go for this just because we'll maximize card draw that way although do i probably want to go for meliodas instead the sooner we get rid of meliodas the better although the king shield could be very very annoying as well but if we could just get that light type myel or not even a light type myel i feel like releasing that now would be way too soon wow look at that damage on Meli. i feel like time is usually a little lackluster when it comes to damage but it is once again the infamous flood card let's see the good amount of elizabeth cards Getting through that King Shield though is always such a hassle. Keen to see what we're going to get in the next couple weeks. I am kind of excited for the Wedding Brunhold. I know all of the leaks for them was Swimsuit Brunhold, which I honestly would have preferred. I feel like Garcha games always get so many sales and you all know why when it comes to these Swimsuit characters. There goes up the King Shield. I mean, at this point, Elizabeth, I don't know. I do see a lot of people using her cards before she gets to a max stack and yeah, it can be done. I don't know. I feel like this is the best way to play the team and it's the only team that kind of plays like this the only team in the game where you save your best units cards to a later point usually you're just spamming them right out the bat which is usually how i like to play a red escanor in the back we have our time our ultimate we are going to lose our buffs by that point go through ultimate being sealed is just so crazy if you could put this holy relic on any character it makes them so much better and i feel like the blue time got mega shafted due to the fact that they end up i don't even know what his holy relic is but it's the only one of the archangel holy relics i don't have and for good reason oh man this king shield is going to be strong as well i might end up just using the time just to break the shield and i'm hoping that gets the job done just because we ended up losing in yesterday's video to a king shield just getting absolutely tanking a barn ultimate we'll throw that out and then the aoe just to oh never mind we're completely blitzing this team level one's gonna wipe those two isn't it yeah getting through escanor with the hp buff can be very very difficult can we do it though oh yeah no what can't elizabeth do and with the release of the wedding brunhold we'll also be losing the beloved demon glitch if you don't know basically allows you to get an infinite amount of demons per day so this is going to be your last 24 hours in order to be able to get it done. There is, once again, no patch notes, so... They very well couldn't happen, but I believe this was the same update, the JP version had that one patch, so... I'd like to say otherwise, this S is actually doing quite a bit of damage with that melee single target coming in afterwards. I think that's her Elizabeth dead. Oh no, just holding on. I don't think there's any point in trying to keep her alive, or there any way we can keep her alive. We could try going full send on someone and seeing if we can get the kill. Let's go for Meliodas. If this team could have some form of buff removal as well, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean, I probably should have gone for the AoE first, that way we could have got the extra 6%. I mean, maybe good doing the AoE at the end of there for the lifesteal was our best bet. How much health are we looking at? Just over half. 
I mean, we could get very, very lucky and have them not draw pretty much any Meliodas or Escanor cards. I know whenever I use Ludo, I just end up getting a whole bunch of his Rupture cards and his single targets, so it doesn't look like that's the case. I know he still has one of the AoE cards, and that is definitely Elizabeth dead. It's It can be so difficult to bring back these matches against Ludo when you get out CC. Such a terrifying unit. And please not another Ludo. What is this? Is that the blue Christmas Awaken Lilia? Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say, if this is Red Lilia, this is definitely a weird team. I mean, thank god we are running Rimuru, we don't have to worry about the pierce decrease. I think I'm still gonna end up going for King first. The sooner we can get that shield out of the way, the easier our life's gonna be. Uh, how many times does the Margaret passive stack up? I believe it's five or ten times for the buffs. Not like we're ever gonna reach that, or at least max that out in a PvP match. We do get the three turns, but even then, that's way too many buff cards. And let's see, surely we get some mergers on Elizabeth card. I'd like to get some level 3s out in this video, but getting level 3 cards without some kind of Gertha rank up is near impossible. Let's see what he goes for. He got the merger on the king, which is not what we want. Decreasing defense related stats, and then, yeah, I'm guessing that's where the double king is going to come in. No use of the Lilia yet, which is surprising. Oh, okay, no, he's going to go for. You could have had a real strong shield there, buddy. We will go for the double AoE and to single target. Not really needing the Tarmiel. I really wish I was able to get more dupes when Tarmiel was around. If I'd have known the banner was going to be or the unit was going to be this good and the Holy Relic was going to be this big a thing in the meta, I definitely would have tried to have drawn for the second rotation, obviously, in hindsight, but not much I can do there. We do have the SSR ticket event coming out where you can buff the rates of a specific unit in the banner by 20%. Tarmiel isn't even in the kind of like SSR ticket pool. I don't believe he's in it as of yet, so I don't know. I want the dupes, but that's it always seems to be a situation with the Archangels where I'm super excited for them to release and then I only get one copy in the banner and I'm forced to just only use them as frontline units for quite a bit, but I have both Asariel's Tarmiel or the other Tarmiel maxed out. Both of the ultimates sealed there. We ended up maxing out the Elizabeth, didn't we? Yeah, perfect. I will go for the Margaret card here just because we... Can I maybe kill if I go for that? Just so we can remove those debuffs. I don't believe they affect our damage in any way, but better to have them off. And then just kill everyone, Elizabeth. Yeah, look at that. She's so good once it gets that third turn. It really makes me think that Green Sariel is going to be one of the best units for her. Maybe even replacing Mara when we get a different kind of support. Easy money. And a another unknown team. I mean, I've always been a super big fan of the unknown team, but... Man, with Rimuru's release, with True Sick and Merlin remaining one of the strongest units in the game, and the Gotha Holy Relic, there's there's so much going for the team at this point. We'll be able to get like another good festival. I don't even think the team really needs more buffs. I wish they made the Shuna just a little bit stronger. They have been on this kind of pattern with the reruns where one of the units just completely outshines the other one. Obviously, Terry is miles better than the Yoriyagami. I wouldn't even consider Yoriyagami to even be a viable unit. I definitely would say Shuna has some. The Poly Relic giving our cleanser so much, and then one of the only units in the meta that heals, also having that stun, it's, she's got a bit going for her. Definitely doesn't stand up to Rimuru though. But yeah, as always, on today's episode of Vlad, it just praises Rimuru for the whole video, it's, it's the usual. Go for the charge effect, I wish they didn't give the Margaret charge, not the strongest card in the world. That should get rid of Rimuru though, I'm surprised we haven't seen any attack disabling from Merlin. All the go that makes me believe it's a bot. There's no way you run this kind of team and just don't spam attack disable the whole way through. It's, man, this unit right here. So many, I would honestly say at this point, red Gotha is way better than green Gotha. I don't know, the attack buffing is really, really good, especially in PvE content where you end up lasting quite a few turns. Is it a dissolve? Surely not. Another Melon card after this. I want to be able to use my Liz cards. Oh no. Ah, oh, well, it's not like we can rush an ultimate either. Let's see, we've got a level 3, which is exactly what I was asking for. Lucky for us, no D ranks on the team. If there was a Jack of Light go through, I'd be a little bit concerned. Hey, there's our cleanse. Thank you. We will definitely go for... Okay, so we can get the double buff. That'll increase the Margaret passive even more. And then we can throw out the level 3. This is going to be some juicy damage. Puts the old disable on the Merlin. Yeah, I'm a really big fan of this time, y'all. And there we go. That's... That one's an easy, easy one. We'll go one, two, and surely she kills everyone here, right? I'm, I'm giving her all this praise, and she could just... I don't know, she can be very hit or miss sometimes. I feel like when she has the double support, though, she's really good. I was so insanely surprised to see how well she did alongside Purgatory Barn. Ooh, look at that. One and a half million. 
And surely we can get an ultimate to wrap this one up. Would be nice. 331. Some pretty decent CC there. Also wrapping the blue droll, which I love. This blue droll, all of the commandments at this point are so underrated. With the release of the Demon Holy Relic sometime in the near future, I feel like it's been quite some time since we've had the deer release. We've also had a unit that makes deer easier. I think we ended up getting Yormungandr a lot sooner than I expected. It took us forever to get Megelda and it was the, it was initially Brunhold and then Megelda, but Megelda was kind of the defining factor. I still didn't like her upon her release and didn't use her whatsoever until her Holy Relic came out. Her Rot Holy Relic makes that content way too easy. And the second we get a Yormungandr Holy Relic, I feel like the deer is going to become even more a breeze. The fact that they've removed the revive passive as well is such a lifesaver. Do I? I don't want to merge Elizabeth cards either, just for the fact that we want to get that passive out right when we hit that turn three. I think honestly we just spam Margaret cards. Try and kill the Rimmer. If there wasn't the Taunt there, I'd definitely go for the single target. Breaking the King Shield. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get that one done. <laughs> I'm using, I'm not going to change the Margaret to an attack crit set. HP defense is almost the best gear set for every single character and it gets to the point where this game is in such a state where whoever goes first wins majority of the time it's the biggest factor it doesn't feel worth it putting attack crit on some characters although they would be a lot better in that sense it's just a whole lot better for the team for you to have them on that hp defense i would definitely say though that the elizabeth on attack crit is worth it there we go put some another taunt that's gonna destroy margaret yeah and that should be enough to... I have full faith that the AoE should be able to finish everyone off here. We will... I'd like a cleanse. That's okay. One, two, and three. I probably should have checked Elizabeth's stats as well. That's alright. Yeah, very weird unit to get ultimate for. Just because you're never going to merge cards. It might be alright. Let's see if we can finish them off here. Wow. Rumor is surviving. Jesus. There we go, and that about does it for today's video. Really, really liked trying out this team with the level 100. We have, of course, showed this team. I'm pretty sure it was the first video we did when this Elizabeth released. I really like the artifacts that I wish I could have had at level 5. I also think this 8%, the damage dealt to all enemies, it could be changed to basic stats. Uh, that might be a little bit OP. Could obviously change the multiplier. I would prefer that, though, giving them the extra HP and defense, even if you end up getting less attack in the end, just to kind of help the team out in other aspects. But no, really, really happy with how this went. That just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe. It really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.